So we're doing this again. Now, I didn't actually think I was going to make a video like this ever again, because I did do it last week. But man, the drama is getting out of control. Right now, it's getting absolutely crazy in that, because every single big YouTuber which everyone knows and loves is getting into beef with each other. Fan bases at war with other fan bases. KSI's fanboys versus the Sidemen fanboys. And it's all going off like a bottle of pop right now. It's absolutely fucking crazy, okay? And man, if you've been living under a rock, you have been missing out because these diss tracks are literally everywhere. It's literally like radiation. It ain't gonna go away. And it's gonna take a long time until this dies out and goes away. Honestly. As I'm saying before, if you lived under, under a rock, then you're a very, very lucky person because I want to know what rock you've been living under. So if you don't know, basically, KSI got himself into a bit of beef, left the side man, and started firing shots or picking fingers at Ethan, saying how Ethan was the result of him leaving the side man and everything like that. Guys will always be in my heart, no matter what, but, uh, you know, all good things come to an end, I guess. I mean, if that Ethan bitch wasn't there, then obviously everything would be fine, but... It is what it is. Then, Ethan responds and all of his other crew, like Kersai's crew when he was filming and everything like that. Even then we're firing shots at Ethan. Alright, cut! Good! Announcement! Ethan sucks. Ethan sucks. Yeah! Yeah! Ethan sucks. Ethan sucks. Ethan sucks. Ethan sucks. Ethan sucks. And then Ethan comes out with a diss track, Kersai reacts to it, and then it snowballs from there. Then you got Rotashaw, you got Simon, you got all these other YouTubers, even Deji, getting involved. Like, I'm not saying the raps are bad, they're absolutely fucking dog shit. Even Smithy Boy and the crew can make a better diss track than this. No, forget that. Forget Smithy Boy and the crew. It's all about MC Dave. No one can beat MC Dave. MC Dave is the best MC which ever lived. And if you disagree, then you're a hater. Simple as that. I mean, listen to them bars. Listen to that lyricism and flow. <laughs> Only one bug get me grabs and only one girl give me tea. Only one bug give me one gonna give me a one and a and a coffee. Two sugar please bitch. A bend over. Two sugar please bitch. Bend over. All they had to do. As Will and he said, I'm gonna roll it right now. You either look a bit airy and then bag out daily vlogs, or you become a rap artist. Honestly, like putting Vivo in your thumbnail these days is like a YouTube cheat code. Although a reoccurring theme over the last couple of years, right, is that any beef via the form of rap music will do bits. Low gang sucks diss track. The fall of Jake Paul. Like, come on, lads, Blackpool was doing this a year ago. Work of art right there, Will. 100% agree. I mean, he isn't wrong there. I mean, we're gonna be talking about the second thing which is the worst thing about these diss tracks. It's not just the YouTubers and everything like that. It's not even the fanboys, okay? Because basically, all you gotta do is start some fake beef. You know, go on drama alert, say it's, say it's all real and everything like that. You know, uh, pull the wall over Keem's eyes and everything like that because he's like stupid as fuck anyway. And then all you have to do is then say it's real and then everybody's gonna believe you and that but that's not the bad thing that's not the worst thing the worst thing is is the reaction videos you got washed up youtubers who nobody even knows of hopping on this thing because you know why views it's an easy cash grab and their reactions are very half-assed it's like a proper rap anyone that's uh, wanted to check in with the KSI beef and everything like that. Even Tic Tac Head is doing it. Callum's Corner is doing it. Even he's jumping on the trend right now and he's getting loads of views for it, but everyone loves Tic Tac Head. I mean, give him a watch if you haven't seen him. Going back into it. Yeah, these people are like half assed YouTubers that nobody even knows of. Freaking jigging their heads to the beat and everything like that. In the thumbnail, all you gotta do is look like you've been smoking a load of crack, look like you suck the biggest dick ever, and you know, just have a fakest reaction ever, slap Vivo, in the bottom corner as well and then put KSI versus Sidemen beef and everything like that also put in the tags as well and then boom you got 2 million views in less than a day and for all the Sidemen fanboys that are going to watch this no I'm not on anybody's side because I don't care about this drama I think it's so petty and it's so stupid and ridiculous but at the same time it's entertainment because the comments are an absolute crease this is the best bit about this drama because all the comments all the 7 year olds defending these YouTubers defending their precious YouTuber. It's absolutely hilarious. It's an absolute crease. But anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up right here. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like down below. Follow me on social media as well. Follow me on Twitter. Add me on PSN. Also add me on Steam. Link will be down below in the description as always. And to comment for this video, 
What do you think about the whole thing? Do you think it's a load of bullshit? Are you on the side men's side? Are you on KSI's side? Or don't you care about this whole drama at all? Other than that, my name is Black TV. Have a great day. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next